Hi guys, by now you should know how to create variables using let, var, and const uh, for constants. And uh, we've covered that in details in the last two videos. But um, this video or this tutorial is going to talk about keywords you are not allowed to use when you give names to your variables. So in JavaScript, um, you can see here in the past uh, tutorials, I use names like first variable, second variable, etc. Um, for the constant, I was using number one. So you might wonder what kind of words can I use as names for my variables? And in JavaScript, there are keywords which you are not allowed to use. These keywords are reserved words. So every year or so, um, there is a new version of JavaScript specs that get released. So the current version now would be uh, ES 2019. And I have um, the draft open here, the language specs. I will try and make sure to add this link to the description of this video so that you can check it out. In the specs, they specify the words that already have a definition in the language, which means they already have a role. They are um, available as part of the language specs because they are meant to achieve something. Um, you can use them for your coding. Uh, if that sounds confusing to you, I'm going to show you right here uh, keywords. So. They state here, uh, these are tokens um, that may not be used as identifiers. So you realize that a variable name is an identifier um, in, in this context. So um, there are keywords, for instance, await, break, delete, instance of, new, etc. So um, switch, for instance, let's take switch. Um, this is the keyword you use when you want to verify something and um, react in a different way based on conditions. So you would use a switch statement, what is known as a switch statement, to execute uh, different pieces of code based on um, a condition like if something is true or if something equals something else, then you would um, execute a certain uh, piece of code. So these are switch or um, you also have throw, which we normally use for error handling and uh, this kind of things. Function, for instance, you use that keyword when you want to define a new function. You can Google online for uh, JavaScript reserved words or reserved keywords and you will find lists like this. For instance, this is from W3 schools and they give you an ex exhaustive list of um, keywords and they state here you cannot use these reserved words as variables. So labels and function names apply as well, but we've not covered that yet. So um, here, um, you need to be vigilant and make sure you Google for ES 2019 keywords or ES 2019 reserved words or reserved keywords, because there are some conflicts here. If you check, for instance, uh, synchronized, that uh, reserved word from W3 schools and it states here, um, I, I'm sure this list is from ES5, ES6. ECMAScripts scripts can be shortened as ES, so ES5, ES6. And this one is uh, the current version of um, JavaScript for 2019. And you can see that the keyword synchronized is not available here. So let's check this in action now. Um, what are the consequences of using reserved words as identifiers. So I'm going to comment the codes that we had from our previous tutorial. I've commented it out. So you can see I've added double slashes. Just highlight everything, control A, and then control forward slash. So now let's say var this equals A. You quickly see that this is uh, underlined. Uh, it has a red line because it's not um, a valid identifier. So let's run this code now. I have my live server open. Uh, without even console login anything, I can just open the console. And here I have this uh, error message, unexpected token this. This is a token, a reserved word in JavaScript. So it says script line 13, line 13 being this one here. So the same thing applies. Let's do another example. Uh, we're going to use another uh, reserved word. Um, let's use case. And by the way, case goes along with switch. Okay, uh, we'll cover that in a future tutorial. 
case and I get the same error again. Unexpected token case. So now uh, I mentioned the conflicts of reserved words from um, W3 schools and the uh, ES 2019 uh, drafts. And um, let's make an example here. If I pick uh, synchronize here and I say uh, var synchronized. I believe I spelled it correctly, but to be sure, I'm just going to copy and paste it here. Now, I don't have any error uh, here, any uh, red line. So now I'm going to run this code here. And I don't have any error message. If I check what is the value of synchronized, I get, hey, so it actually works. Whenever you want to use a keyword uh, that sounds a bit familiar to you and you want to make sure that it's not a JavaScript reserved word, check the uh, drafts uh, or the release, ES um, ECMAScript release. Some other sources can be outdated sometimes. That's uh, pretty much it. To be sure or to be safe, just use um, custom names. Like if you want to check um, if something is synchronized instead of using synchronized, if you're not sure, just use like um, is uh, sync, for instance. That will usually be used as um, a boolean, so it would probably be false or true. Okay, uh, we also need to cover feature reserved words. So like I said, um, every once in a while, there is a new release uh, for the JavaScript uh, specs, and um, some are not available presently, some reserved words, but they will be available as part of um, future language extensions. So these include implements, package, protected, interface, private, and public. So if I go here and I type uh, implements, if I check implements here, I will get true. But this means that whenever there is a new uh, language extension and um, uh, like Chrome, Firefox, and all they start adopting the new language extension, I might get some um, errors or my script might just break. Now, if you're familiar with other languages like uh, Java or C Sharp, you will be uh, familiar with search words interface, um, protected, private, and public. These three are known as access modifiers. So we'll cover that whenever we um, talk about objects-oriented programming. So in JavaScript, we have OOP as well. And um, as the language becomes more robust, eventually um, these uh, reserve words will be made available. So again, check the drafts, use custom variables, and uh, if you're not sure, uh, don't rely on third parties. Always come and verify. If you have anything with your code, just open the console log and it will just uh, let you know if you have any unexpected token. So in the next video, we'll talk about characters that you're allowed to use when um, giving names to your variables.